Hey everyone, William Strife here, and uh, it's time for a channel update. Been a while since I've done one of these. About two years, actually. But uh, you probably noticed that yesterday Skyrim ended, and uh, man, that, that, that has been a long, long-running process, hasn't it? Man, 102 episodes, nearly two full consecutive years. I think it's been actually two years since I started the series, but it's uh, it hasn't been two full consecutive years, because it, it would be... 104 episodes. Yeah, 52, uh, 52 weeks in a year, times two, 104. Um, and I only got 102 out, so I probably missed one or two weeks inside of those two years, but, you know, it's been a long time running. And um, it's ended for a couple of reasons, guys. Uh, you know, for those of you who are upset, who are unhappy, it's like, oh, he didn't finish the Dark Brotherhood. There were all of these other miscellaneous quests that I wanted to get done as well, and, you know, the Dragonborn and the Dawn Guard uh, DLCs. Um, but at the end of the day, I had to end it for a whole lot of different reasons. The first reason is the fact that, hey, you know, it's been a long time since I started this. I've been doing this series every week for two years. It's starting to grind on me. Skyrim's a great game, but whenever you get to play it at like, uh, well, it takes about, uh, there's there's about 40, mi 40 to 60 minutes of gameplay inside of a 20 minute episode. So whenever you get to play you know, like an hour of Skyrim a week, and you have to keep playing at that rate. You have to start taking notes and pay attention to what you're doing. It's um, it's it's not Skyrim the way that it was meant to be played. Skyrim is meant to be played in large, large chunk sessions. You know, um, so I can I I was able to keep up for up with it for two years, but at the end of the day, doing that for two years straight, it's uh. Ugh, it 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 started to grind on me. Um, the other thing is the fact that I, well. To understand this, you have to know that I still work a day job. I've never stopped working a day job. I've had a day job since I started YouTube. I still have a, that same job today. I've never stopped, you know, and it's because YouTube has never made enough money for me to stop doing my job and just do YouTube alone. And um, YouTube doesn't make as much money today as it used to a year ago. Uh, a lot of things have happened, but um, the other reason why Skyrim has ended is because it's no longer worth the squeeze. Not enough people are watching. To those of you who have been watching, thank you, you're lovely, you're great. I, I really love making that content. But 5,000 views a video, it doesn't bring in what I need. Um, and more importantly, an episode of Skyrim, it takes, you know... It takes a lot of work to put in. There's there's a lot of work in the, behind the scenes that go, goes into a single episode of Skyrim, more hours than you probably imagine, uh, in order to you know get the dialogue right and have all of that um, voice acting and you know the very distinct role playing in it. Um, that takes a lot of work, and it's not worth it for the reason that you know very few people watch it when it comes out. Those of you who are probably watching this, you probably watched Skyrim, uh, the Skyrim episodes when they came out, but. They don't remain searchable. And if I look at the analytics for my channel, what's really uh, bringing in money, that keeps the lights on. I want to I wanna stress that. This isn't a situation of, like, I'm rolling in money and I have plenty to spare. I am, I am not in that type of a financial situation. Um, I have to do what's right for the channel. I have to do what's right for my income. And uh, an episode of Skyrim is... It stays relevant for basically the weekend that it's put out, and it gets a few more residual views over the next three weeks, maybe. Um, and then it just drops off the face of the planet. It's as if I never put the work in to make it after that point. As where, like, the number one earner, uh, like, the number one video that earns for me on my channel still is the Skyrim Beginner's Guide. And, you know, like, the entire Minecraft guide still brings in good money for me. It's the guides that really make a difference for me. And um, whether I like it or not, the people who are dropping in and just watching and leaving and not subscribing and they just found me through a search, um, that those are, those are the views that are really, really sustaining me. Unfortunately, those are the views that I have to play to because those are the one... Because... That's the voluminous number that, you know, makes me float. And uh, I, ne I need to chase after that. But moreover, I think that... I think that that's my strength. I think making guides is my strength. I have a good voice for it. I, I, I am very meticulous and careful about what I say and how I say it. And I word things properly. And I do a whole lot of work in capturing the footage and trying to stitch it all together to make a very small, concise video, you know? It's worth the time my guides, which is the reason why they remain so relevant and so searchable long, uh, a long way down the line after I release them. So um, moving forward, I'm, I'm going to start distancing myself 
from Let's Play content as a result of that, because I, I need to solve a situation after the original adpocalypse that happened uh, about a year or so ago. Well, more than a year ago now. After the original adpocalypse that hit, I, uh, I, I, like, my... My income was reasonably good. It was like, hey, this is this is almost getting to a point where I maybe I could quit my day job. And then the adpocalypse hit and it just like a third of my income vanished from YouTube and it's never really recovered. And part of that is because the uh, the adpocalypse hit whenever I was doing Skyrim, you know, um, and unfortunately, Skyrim just doesn't bring in the money like guides do. So. Going forward, what I need to do is I need to readjust my channel. I need to focus on things that work for me, that continue to bring in money. So guides are really, really going to be where it's at for me, or at least I hope that they are. We'll see where we'll see how it works out going forward. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to work more on guides. But the that's that's not all. I also want to do more thought pieces. Thought pieces remain less searchable. They're more entertainment driven. I don't think that I'll pull up residual views for that. Um, but thought guy, uh, but thought pieces. You know, a little bit like uh, video essays, if you will. Um, those of you who have been around for the channel a long time will remember a series that I once did called Elements of Play. It was for the Machin it was for the Machinima Network, um, Rip Machinima, uh, and I'm not bringing that series back um, per se, but the spirit of it is something that I want to bring back because it's like, hey, this is a this was something that I really enjoyed doing, but it wasn't something that I could produce on a regular basis. So guides and you know video essays examining, you know, like game mechanics. Why is it that this one really good mechanic in one game works so well, but I see it over there in this other game and it doesn't work well. And like, let's, let's, let's explore that idea. So pieces like that, I really want to do some of, um, and beyond that, there's also, um, my streaming that I do. So, uh, you know, that's still there. If you don't know, I do stream on Twitch. I do it on Mondays and Sunday, uh, Sundays and Mondays, Mondays and Sundays. How exactly I should order those, I don't know. But um, I do tr I do stream over on Twitch on Mondays and Sundays uh, every single week. That schedule is subject to change. But um, if you really want to support me, you know, if you want to support me because you get my videos on YouTube for 100% free. If you feel like sending money my way, the best way for you to do it would be to just subscribe to me on uh, Twitch, you know, just subscribe to me on Twitch, and you know, if you've got a, pr if you've got Amazon Prime, you know, you get a free subs uh, subscription, and I get money out of that, so that's valuable. And um, you know, you know, that's the that's the best way for you to support me if you want to do that. Um, there are other methods. I also have Patreon. That's kind of like Twitch that you know you get charged monthly for it, but you're not really getting anything anything back, not unless you. Uh, pay $15 a month because I have a Minecraft server. It's a vanilla Minecraft server, but that's an option as well. Um, but you're not really getting any, getting anything back. And, you know, finally, if you, if you're, if you really want to financially support me, just like as a one-time donation, there's PayPal. I'll, I'll put links for everything down below, but I'm not interested in just sitting here asking for money. That's not my interest. I, I like, I, I believe in being paid for work that I've done. I, I believe in you, you know, giving money out for something that I've done. If you contribute to me in, uh, you know, as a one-time thing on, uh, PayPal, you know, that's fantastic. It, you know, if you want to do that, that's fine. If you want to do it through Patreon, you know, it's on, it's with the understanding that you're not really getting anything back, but you are supporting what I do on YouTube, you know? So, um, I'm, I'm, I feel bad. I, I feel like I'm hawk, uh, you know, selling myself or hawking wares. Um, Speaking of hawking wares, I want to establish a product line moving forward. I don't know how this will work out. I don't even know how to tackle the top, the situation. But, you know, selling t-shirts and mugs and posters and maybe pins and keychains, I don't know. I've never really been all that great at uh, selling merchandise, but I feel that so I feel that it's something that I should really get into and I should uh, I should, you know, start selling things. Uh, let me know down in the comments what you think about the possibility of selling merchandise. Um I know that uh, I know that it didn't work out too well initially. Whenever I was with the Yogscast, in fact, when the Yogscast asked me to leave, well, now you know that the Yogscast. I left the Yogscast because they asked me to leave. Um, one of the reasons that they cited for wanting me to leave was the fact that I wasn't moving merchandise for them very well. That's a thing. Anyways, um, I, I I I want to I want to I want to establish you know a. Uh, uh, a brand line or, you know, merchandise, t-shirts, etc. And hopefully you guys will be interested in that stuff. I don't know what exactly I would put on them. Um, but, you know, I know some artists uh, and I'll, 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 I'll look into it. I'll figure out how to get it established. It'll start small, probably just American shipments. And then depending on where the demand is, you know, I could send out to Australia or Europe or something like that or, you know, whatever. But um, 
that's pretty much it, guys. I just wanted to let you know that Skyrim is ending, and it's it's marking, you know, a change in the direction of my channel. Um, I, I started doing weekly content. I made a conscious decision to do weekly content a long time ago on YouTube. And um, now that I'm taking a step back and looking at my channel, I'm like, nah, you know, I think, I think it might not be a good idea for me to hold to making one video every single week because that's really hard to do whenever I'm also working a day job. And um, I, I, I was flat out unable to really do any other videos than Skyrim because I just... I didn't have enough time. So moving forward, I want to go back to, uh, I want to, I want to go back to guides. My plan is to try to make certain that I get at least one guide out every single month. Some months I'll probably get more out because it's like, this is one game that I have very thoroughly researched. I'm going to make like three guides all at once and, you know, publish those one week after the other. So sometimes that'll probably happen. Um, and then, uh, you know, in between of uh, the guide content, you know, the 12 guides that I want to get out every single year now. Um, I also, well, 12 guides is a minimum. Uh, I, I also want to get into, you know, doing more, you know, video essays or thought pieces of looking at game mechanics and talking about how they work and why does it work here and why does it not work there and what's this mechanic that, you know, has bit the dust and, you know, it's a, it's a dinosaur and we don't no, no longer see it. So that's what I plan on doing going forward with uh, with YouTube. And maybe someday I will come back and play more Skyrim or something, you know, in the event <laughs> that... Uh, Maybe, maybe I'll do more Skyrim whenever Elder Scrolls 6 is right around the corner. Um, we'll see how that turns out because... <sighs> Bethesda has some... They've got, they've got ground to claw back after what happened with Fallout 76. <laughs> That's a whole different can of worms. But, um, yeah, moving forward, guides video essays, and uh, I'm still streaming over on Twitch, like always, Mondays and Sundays. And uh, that's pretty much it. If you want to, if you want to, you know, support me with money or anything, there are links down below. But otherwise, thanks so much for watching. You guys have been lovely and wonderful, and I hope that you enjoyed the Skyrim series as long as it ran. And uh, let's hope that things turn out for the best moving forward in uh, for the future for me and you. Hey, you too. You're in. A, you're on. A, you're in on this as well. I cannot speak. I'm. Uh, I'm stumbling my words. Anyways, thanks so much for watching, everybody. You've been a lovely audience, and I hope that you continue to enjoy my content going forward, no matter how I change. See you next time. Bye.